What's up everyone, my name is Dylan from Gunspot.com and in this video I'm here for the Armory Life and we're going to be talking about the DeSantis Kazuto holster for your Springfield Prodigy. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the DeSantis Kazuto holster that is right here. Now, if you're interested in this holster after we get finished talking about it, you can find it on Springfield Armory's store website. Just go to their website, click the store tab, and you can search for guns by holster. If you click Prodigy, you're going to find this one over there in the list. So this is how the holster comes in this configuration right here. It is a one-piece Kydex holster, meaning it's folded over kind of like a taco. So as you can see right here, uh, there is kind of, I guess, our seam or our bending point. Over here is our opening where the two sides are stuck together via these bolts right here. The bolts do have some rubber seals in between them uh, that are kind of like actually rubber spacers and that's what helps keep the tension on your bolts, of course. And that's also how you're going to adjust the tension for the Prodigy uh, around the trigger guard so you can get a different style or a different level of retention as you're drawing the holster. It does ship and come with a paddle attachment. This is a paddle attachment right here. Paddle attachments are great for a variety of belt and pant setups and I found this one to be super, super comfortable actually. So basically, uh, you just peel this like that, give that opening, this side the paddle slides into your pants. Uh, in between yourself and your pants and then of course the holster stays on the outside so your pants and your belt go right here in between and then of course they sit here in this slot that is meant for your belt and that's going to help keep the retention because you've got this bump here on the kydex and then of course that is coming up against our paddle and this smooth part right here is the part that is kind of against your hip on your side and that helps make it extremely comfortable when you're carrying it and I found this to be really, really good. Like even drawing my pistol, I felt like it stayed in position really well, drawing and reholstering. And I think that is in part due to just the amount of tension that this has on it. And then also kind of has these little wings here on the side that kind of dig back into your pants. And I really think that helps fight slide. With a lot of paddle holsters, in my opinion, they tend to do this quite a bit while they're on your belt and it kind of messes up your draw or your reholstering and they usually tend to slide up when you're holstering it. Didn't have that problem with this one. And it's got fantastic retention. I like a Kydex holster. The other thing it does come with is a belt loop. So this is a Kydex material again. This is belt loop right here. So all you gotta do is take off this and you can put this on the back and if you didn't wanna run it with a paddle, you could run it with the belt loop. Now the paddle is much faster to put on. You don't have to take your belt off or undo your belt to slide this over your pants so that you can wear it. And the paddle is very sufficient. So in my opinion and in my use, I would say that you just stick with the paddle. I think the belt loop is gonna be pretty unnecessary for you. Now, you may disagree and you may like the belt loop, but I think this is a really good option. Something that I like about the holster and that you're gonna notice with a lot of Kydex holsters in general, but this is kind of how I always grade them, is by the level of retention or at least the snap that you get when you push it in. There is a nice positive snap when that goes in there and that lets you know how well the holster is seated. And as you can tell, it is holding it in there quite well, uh, which is obviously going to make it very good. Um, you can come in and get a good purchase on your firearm, on the grip before you pull it, that works really well. You will notice I've got an RMR mounted on my Prodigy right here, and that this is optics cut, meaning the holster is optics compatible. So if you have an optic on it, it does not get in the way. My version of the holster right here is for the five inch Prodigy, as you can tell. Uh, if you had the five inch version of the holster, the four and a quarter would still work because again, the retention is built around the trigger guard. So that saves you from having to worry about any slop or anything like that. Overall guys, this is a really good outside the waistband holster. You could technically conceal with it as long as you're dressed appropriately. If you've got like an open button down or a jacket or something like that it does ride high enough that you could conceal it outside the waistband if you so choose but even for just casual range use say you're going to the range you're going to shoot with some buddies and you just want to holster 
for your gun and you don't want a whole gun belt set up with a rig and a bunch of stuff like that, you could get this. It would be a pretty inexpensive option that has a really good fit for your Prodigy and you can draw from it and it works super well. Guys, that's my experience and my opinion here using the DeSantis Kazuto holster. I do think it's a great value. And again, you can find it on Springfield Armory's store website. Just go over to the holsters tab and search for it by Prodigy. Click on Prodigy, you're gonna find this holster in there. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.